through 29. And the Bible reads, Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourish it and cherish it, even as the Lord, the church. And the church said, Amen. 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 You may be seated. And I'm going to read verse 30. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Amen. That is the word of God. Amen. Let me make a little room right here now. Now we find here in the book of Ephesians... Uh, this epistle seems to have not been sent to one specific church, but was circulated among all the churches of Asia Minor. Uh, this epistle addresses no specific or particular problem that any one church was having, but addresses common general problems most likely experienced by all believers in yeah. any church yeah. back then and here today. Yeah. Now, through the book of Ephesians, Paul describes Christ as the head of the church yeah. and us as members of his body. Amen. That is, we enjoy an intimate relationship with him yeah. and thus had a unique relationship with one another. All right, all right. Paul presents the individuals of the church as members of Jesus' body, uh -huh. which reflects the most personal relationship with him all right. and with each other. Yeah. Now, in this book, Paul uses a dual theme in composing this epistle, this letter. First, all believers make up the body of Christ. That's right. That's right. That's right. Secondly, both right. Jewish and Gentile Christians are privy to the same level of intimacy yeah. in the body yeah. of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. The middle wall of partition being destroyed, yeah. Yeah. Jews and Gentiles make up one body in Christ. Yeah. Right. Now, an outline of this epistle would be four-pronged. First, we would have, of course, the greeting. Secondly, would be the doctrinal part of the epistle, uh, the church's wealth in Christ, if you will. Yeah. Thirdly, would be the practical part of the book, the church's walk in Christ. And then finally, the conclusion. Now, in this text, Paul uses the analogy of marriage as the model to yeah, follow yeah. concerning the church's relationship with Christ. Yeah. And he uses the church's relationship with Christ to portray the expectations of husbands and wives in marriage. Yeah, yeah. Verses 22 and 23 read, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. Don't y'all get mad at me. I'm just going to stay in the word. Yeah. As unto the word. For the husband is the head of the wife. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even as Christ is the head of the church. Yeah. And he is the savior of the body. Oh, yeah. Now today's church has allowed every secular definition of marriage to adversely affect what happens in our relationships. Yeah. Mm, I can't hear you. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. And this has resulted in a devastating curse on the church. Yeah. Now, if we take an honest look uh -huh. at most marriages in the church, All right. we will notice a disturbing similarity to what is 
happening in today's church. Especially, especially the epidemic of disobedience to leadership and the absence of commitment yeah. to the well-being of the people. The order God has commanded in the Bible is documented in 1 Corinthians chapter number 11 and verse number 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Christ is God. So when this order is violated right, yeah. then we are guilty yeah. of disobedience yeah. to God. Yeah. Now we have the tendency to interpret the scriptures to accommodate what we or how we feel, what we were taught right, yeah. um, and most commonly that's just the way I see it. Yeah. No, that was, now, this is the epitome of meaning to our own understanding. And the Bible says, lean not to your own understanding. Now, preachers often rehearse in the ears of the congregation that God has established decency and order in the church. And that's when the purpose is, is to control the people. Then turn right around. Yeah. And misinterpret the same scripture Amen. to advance their own agendas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, first yeah. Corinthians 13 and 40, yeah. Paul writes, let all things be done decently and in order. Yeah. Yeah. Now, God's order is not established by man. Oh, yeah. But his order is established by himself. By God. Now, if we habitually practice disorder in our natural lives, we will perpetually rehearse behaviors and practices in the church which defy, which distort, and which defile God's order. You know, when you're a rogue in the world, yeah. when you come to church and receive the Holy Ghost, right. and, yeah, right. if you were lazy, unsaved, you just saved and steal your uh, Yeah, you were messy when you weren't saved, you got saved and you're still messy. Uh, there's some things about our character. See, the Bible says we aside every way of the sin. People 
will struggle with being living saved because they are disobedient. The Bible says that the way of the transgressor. Well, let me straighten something out. Like the folks talking about, you know, it, it, you get saved, it's hard. That's a, that's a lie from the pit of hell. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is there. The Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. We walk by faith and not by sight. It's a pleasure to be saved. Today's church has women ruling men 
Come on. Yeah. Come on. Which All reflects right. a problem yes. that begins at home. Yeah. Where men are not standing where and how God has ordained for men to say. When the Bible says, Paul writes in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12, but I suffer not a woman to teach him, yeah. nor to usurp authority yeah. over yeah. the man. Yeah. Can I just read the book? Yeah. 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 To be in silence. Yeah. Yeah. See, a lot of private church women talk too much. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And men are afraid to tell them that. Yeah. Because the devil uh-huh. has convinced the church, uh-huh. well, if the women don't do it, it won't get done. That's a lie from the devil. Yeah. If you don't do it, God is still God. Yeah. If you don't believe you can leave the church and see the on. church shuts down because you left, God is still in control. Yeah. No one person runs God's church because the church belongs to God and not to man. We think too highly of ourselves. Well, the church wouldn't go without me dying. Instructing the 
woman to love her husband. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> that, you can't find it. It's not written in the Bible. You can't find anywhere in this Bible where a woman is instructed to love her husband. Yeah. It's not in there. But there is a requirement for husbands to love their wives. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And the wives are instructed to be subject to honor and to obey their husbands. Now, people sit around arguing about debating, analyzing, evaluating, measuring, and opining their personal priorities. And holiness. Yeah. What's my perception? What do I think? Uh-huh. Instead of committing themselves to perfection in the eyes of God. Yeah. 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 Now, see, when you know what the Bible says, you get nervous about yourself. Yeah. 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 So, so when you understand that, 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 that Isaiah wrote in Isaiah 64 and 6, but we are all as an unclean thing. Yeah. And all our righteousnesses, righteousnesses are as filthy rags. We all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. So since all of my righteousnesses are as filthy rags, I ain't got time to play with God. No, folks say they're saved and they're trying to, I, I, it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a term I coined, we, we live minimalist salvation. I'm going to live as little saved as possible, but think I'm going to get into heaven just for to skate on in. And so I can do what I want, go where I want, wear what I want, say what I want. Now understand the common denominator in all of those is the I. And the problem with you and me is the I. When we said the I, we take over the Christ, then we'll stop living like the devil. Too many folks are testifying to being saved and have too many problems. Too holy, too holy, too sane. Come on, 
Some of y'all just too sick. You ain't saved enough. Oh, come on. When you know the word of God, let the devil throw them at you. Throw them yes, at you. Yes. See, you too religious. Wait a minute. The Bible doesn't criticize religion. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. The Bible says pure religion yeah. and undefiled before God. It, con it condones religion. Uh -huh. The problem today, the church is not religious enough. Come on. Come on. If the church lived just by the law, we'd be a stronger church. Yes, sir. We don't even come up to the law. Forget about grace. We won't, we won't even do the right thing according to the law. If we were just law keepers, if we just kept the law, we'd be good. We won't even keep the law. But they criticize folks, call them, well, they just law. They're law keepers and, 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 and they're legalistic. Yeah, I love legal stuff because God keeps it legal. The problem with the church too many illegal things going on, and people are calling themselves people of God. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can't keep coming to church and dancing and leaving church and living like the devil. Holy Ghost doesn't move on you to come dance, scream, holler, kick over pews, and knock holes in the wall, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. grab the lights, and go home over your legs to a man that's not your husband. You are a whore, not a woman of God. Go ahead, pal. The Holy Ghost does not have the preacher sleeping with no woman who is not his wife. Church, our minds are disturbed. Then we leave God's house. 
house empty and wonder why because we did not engage what was helping me. We come to church and talk about holiness just because we got the microphone. Because it was my time to testify. But I'm thinking the goodness of Jesus. That if you ain't thought about Jesus all day long. church with the mind of Christ. When you come to church and you're hungry for him, the Bible says they that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. You have no business going home empty because God is on the throne and he will always send you a word. The question is, are you hearing what God is speaking in the house? When the Bible clearly says, let this mind be in you, but also in Christ Jesus. Why do we call them our own mind? Because we are walking in the flesh. But I thank God for knowing his word. It's something we call a lot of times we don't practice. I beseech the death of Christ by the mercies.
Now let me ask you to step up in. If the lamp protect your feet, then you the lamp. The lamp illuminates your immediate side. A lamp or two my feet. So there were ten versions. Five are wise. And five are foolish. They couldn't share the lamps. Because the lamp only gives enough light for one individual. Lord have mercy. So God's word is a lamp or two my feet. In my immediate path, I cannot miss steps. I am careful. Because the steps of a good man. Why you won't know I'm trying to do secular, earthly, worldly things? I'm trying to find 
right there. When Michael Jordan played basketball, he never tried to miss a shot unless it was for strategic purposes. But his aim every time was to make it. And that's why he was the greatest because his attitude was perfection. But there were some of those other bums on the bench couldn't get any time but they didn't have the mind of perfection. See, Michael worked real hard. He stayed in the gym. He disciplined himself. And he was perfect at basketball. That's why this generation, he was the greatest man. He was the man. Why? Because of the evidence on the court. We call ourselves people of God. But there is no evidence. Because when I come to church and I see the same lifestyle that I've seen in the club, there is a problem when I come to church. Oh, Lord. And I see the same clothes that I saw at the club. There is a problem when I come to church. And the preacher, they smell like cigarettes, smell like alcohol. Oh, Lord. There's a problem when I come to the house of God. And the women, I come to serve it up like they serve it out in the world. There's a problem, Lord have mercy, when you come to church and you say that we're saved. And the same women and women and men in the church who are unmarried are having babies and making babies. There is a problem if you are saved. Keep it shut, baby. Keep it shut. I don't have a husband. Keep it shut. And you've got a husband and you're not with him. Keep it shut. Keep your horse in the stall, man. You're not with your wife. Don't be throwing your stuff all around town. It belongs to your wife. Don't be giving to your wife. If you start swimming to other places, you've got a problem. And the problem is sin. The problem, the problem, the problem is sin. It's sin. Sin will kill you. It'll break you down. It'll destroy you. It will demoralize you. It'll carry you to the lake of fire. Lord, Church, the church, 
Look on, not, not here, not here, so don't y'all take this, not here. But look on the instruments at churches. Uh -huh. You got sissies on instruments. Oh, that's right. We got sissies directly crying. Yeah. Yeah. Sissies preaching and pastoring. Yeah. Right. We're, not, we're not insulted by that. Uh -huh. We're not indignant. We have a higher standard for the world than we do for the church. Oh, yeah. The president never called himself my spiritual leader. You know why? Because he is not. Right. Now, explain this to me. Why do we give the preachers a pass? We've had two preachers in Mobile sentenced to prison in the past month or so because they mess with, one mess with a boy, one mess with a girl. Nobody's talking about that. Why are we afraid to talk about sin in the church? Let it happen with an athlete. Let it happen with an actor. Let it happen with the musician. Let it happen with somebody said with the president. Sit on the company. Man, we put in the pieces. But when it happens in the church by people who say they are of God, then we don't, don't, don't talk that. They ain't talking about talking about that nasty stuff. I'm not talking about the world stuff because the world loves its own. They don't say the same. I don't expect you to live safe if you are not safe. Unless you live under my roof. But beyond that, I don't. Uh -huh. But when you say that you're a man of God, you're supposed to live like a man of God. Uh -huh. So when the man of God does things, we say, don't say it. First of all, you're not a man of God. When your preachers does things, we say, well, you should talk about it at all. God wants to. Now we want to pray now. Now all of a sudden, now we're going to pray for it. Should we pray for the president? No. We didn't come to church, you know what the president made, so we're going to pray for him. No, we can't talk about it. And, I, and, and I'm telling you, y'all take this the right way. Don't, 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 don't take it. We got a bunch of ignorant people in church. That's why we don't know how to think. Yeah. Now, I'm going to explain that to you because some of y'all are going to throw something at yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We done hung around each other for so long until we regurgitate the same thoughts. Right. Okay, right. Right. You got to get somewhere else. Right. Hear yeah. another perspective. Yeah. Some stuff you think makes sense until you get out. Right. And you say, no, say wait a minute. I thought, but uh huh. See, you don't know enough because you've not opened yourself up to thought. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. 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 That's why people drink the Kool Aid. Right. They just follow blind. Yeah. I'm not drinking the Kool Aid. Right. No. But see, we are we're offended by information. Come on, right. Yeah, right. the church doesn't like it. I'm not talking right. what I feel like. I've been church right. all my life. My daddy was a pastor. Oh, yeah. I know what I'm talking When you get information, people church don't like it. Right. People right. church is like, I just want to follow. No, you don't want to follow. You want to be the boss. All right. All right. You want to follow when the past goes the way you say go. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's uh -huh. right. That's right. So we wonder why we struggle with perfection in the church. Uh -huh. we, got, we have too many hypocrites in church. Right. 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 Y'all, we got to stop playing with God. Right. 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 Real, man. Real. Thank you, Lord. Come check all that dance. You can't dance the devil out. Five hours you've been dancing. You go home at night. That phone ring. It's old Billy Bob. Hey, Billy. Hey, wait a minute. Come on. You just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went home and had to take a bath. All sweaty. Yeah. All that you did say the Lord was moving on you. Yeah. In and through you. Yeah. Went to work the next day and cussed everybody to drive. Come on. But you said, because you thought dancing was the Holy Ghost, the devil come to church and can dance your nose. I'd ask folks this question. When was the last time you experienced the authentic move, the touch of the Holy Ghost on you personally? I'm not, I didn't say the last time you danced. I didn't say the last time you bucked. I didn't say, I didn't come to do that. But there's a difference when the Holy Ghost yeah. moves on you. Yeah. When the Holy Ghost moves, the things you used to do, they become repulsive. To you. Yeah. Sometimes I think about the sin I did. And I said, you know, you all watch cartoons when they shake their head, you know. I said, I shake their head, I get that noise, so I don't think about it. Lord, I did that. Oh, Jesus, I can't believe it. Yeah. I found myself home yesterday. I was in the, in the bathroom. My wife didn't go, and I was, Lord, forgive me, Lord. Was, stuff I did way before I was saved. Yeah. Oh, forgive me, Lord. I thought, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry that I did that. It tears me up on the inside. Yeah. When the Holy Ghost comes, the devil has to come. That's what it is. It's conviction. Right. Yeah. We don't have enough conviction in the church. We say we're saved, but we go through the motions. 
I'm tired of folks coming to church and dancing, screaming, and hollering, and leaving the church with all your pains, all your problems. It doesn't have to be that way. Jesus died for us to be delivered from sin, to be delivered from depression, to be delivered from heartache. I don't care who doesn't love you, who doesn't want you, who doesn't like you, who hates you. I don't care what you don't have, I don't care what you've not been. Jesus is still love. He's still love. And I'm so tired of folk coming to the church misrepresenting God. And not because we're bad people, because we've not been taught. The relationship is not on how much you jump. That's right. That's right. And don't stop jumping. All right. All right. All right. It's not on how much you jump. That's right. No. But it's when, when, when you feel the Holy Ghost on the inside for real. That's right. That's when you don't even hear the music anymore. That's right. See, when you receive the Holy Ghost, when you receive the Holy Ghost, you forget it. You don't now know what was happening. The Holy Ghost took me and took me to another place. All I know is that mother was saying, Jesus, 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 you know. I don't know when she stopped and who came behind. All I know is the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost came to see me. And some of us were saved, but we need a, we need a revisitation. Amen. A revisitation. God, I need you to fill me again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 some stuff about me, God, is just not working right. Yeah. There's a reason that I'm always upset, always nervous, always mad, always angry, always complaining, because I need more of you. Because, Lord, I know that if, I, if my lifestyle pleases you, yeah. 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 then I, I bring you joy. Yeah. Yeah. And the joy of the Lord yeah. is my strength. Yeah. Yeah. So if I bring God joy, yeah. in return, he gives me so I know see, we 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 have not rightly divided scripture. So, yeah, yeah. so folks come to church pops saying the joy was my strength. They thinking the joy was in the dancing. Yeah. That's not the joy of the Lord. Because you dance, because that's not the joy of the Lord. No, no. The joy of the Lord is the joy you bring him as a function of your holy living. Yeah, right. yeah, that's yeah. Right. And the reward for your holy living right. is he gives you that's strength. Right. Wow. So now you don't walk away all depressed and upset. Yeah, right. Lord, I've been, Lord, every time I go to church, I dance, I testify to this. I'm still so right, 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 because you know that was the joy of the Lord. Yeah. But that's not it. So that'll frustrate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you come to stand, Lord, I'm going to be obsessed with pleasing you. Yeah. Amen. So I'm going to start living hope. Yeah. I'm going to stop gossiping. Yeah. I'm going to stop talking back to the pastor. Yeah. Amen. To the pastor's wife. Come on. I'm going to yeah. stop talking back to the deacon. When y'all tell him, yes, I guess, ma'am, yes, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to please the Lord. Yeah. When the pastor is going to have church, we're going to be here at 10 o'clock at night. Start. I ain't questioning, but what's that for? Ain't nothing you're going to be here. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to obey. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor, we're going to have church at 2 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. But there is, there is a preponderance of disobedience in the church. That's why. That's why, That's why we struggle with being blessed. Yeah. Because we're trying to do it our way. So instead of being blessed, we just wallow in mess. Yeah, yeah. We want to be blessed, obey God. That's right. Right. And you can't hear God if you don't hear from right. preachers. That's right. That's the book. Yes, sir. Book. Right. How can he hear without right. preaching? How can he preach except he be? So folks say, well, I don't need no pastor, but then you ain't saying you do. The Holy Ghost is subject. That's right. Right. Huh? Word. Word. You can't hear what? You can't hear what I Who has been sitting? That's right. Yeah. So in my party shot, That's right. if you sit on the sissy, you can yeah. hear from God. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 If you sit sitting on the whole you can hear from God. Yeah. If you sit on someone who's not received against the Holy Ghost, That's right. you can hear from God. That's right. Reverend whomever. Right. No Holy Ghost, no God. No God. I don't know how many members they have in church. No God. How many times a week you go tell them this? No God. And if he's right. charging you to preach, no God. No God. No God. No God. I know y'all right. man. Come on, I know, I, know, I know y'all love T.J. James, but he charged you to preach. No God. Because any man that charged you to preach is a hireling. Yeah. And he comes to do three things. Steal, kill, kill, kill and destroy. Right. No God. I, I know y'all love Joyce Myers. No God. If you can't get me to come except you pay me, uh-huh. there is no God. Jesus told the disciples, freedom you have received. Freedom. 
Yeah. It's not mine. Can, can, I, can I go a little further? Oh, yeah. If you charge to play the instrument, no, no God. God. No God. What did you say? Can I go a little further? Oh, I'm not going to sing a solo on your program if you don't pay me. No, no God. God. No God. If you got to be paid in church, no God, no God. Come on, preacher. No God. Come on now. Right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Well, Pastor, I would do the roof, but you got to pay. No God. No God. We're people of God. I'm a member of the church. I don't sell myself to the church. Right. Right. God gave us gifts. Right. That's right. We're all part of God. Amen. So you're a painter. Amen. I'm a carpenter. You're a roofer. Together we take care of God's business. I know how much I pay. I pay nothing. I've had folks in church ask me, well, can you go to some writing for and stuff? Man, how much? How much? How much? He paid me this You can't pay me in church. Sorry. I'm not going to get in trouble. All right. And this intellectual property. If it comes from my mind, but you ask me to write it for you. But it's for God's purpose. Amen. So I'm not going to write and charge you. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't going to charge me about what I write for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, free to receive. Free to give. Yeah. We're going to charge the Holy Ghost out of the church. Yeah. 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 We're going to have a concert in the church. Right. You got to buy a ticket to get to church. Right. Yeah. We're going to have a concert at church. Uh, yeah. I won't step in. I tell you, God will burn the church. So I want, I want, I just pray this. I want to start off like that. Send fire, Lord. Send fire. Send fire. Burn down. Say when they all leave, burn down. It's God's house. How can tell you got to buy a ticket to get in the church? Get in the church. Come on. You come with a problem, or you can't come tonight because we sell it. <laughs> you have a ticket, but bring your problem back tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No God. No God. I don't care. I don't care how big they are. Amen. No God. No God. And I put, I put my recordings on out. I put them out. I ain't saying what I say. I say to anybody. No God. No God. All those fellows of people that charge you, there is. I know y'all get it. Y'all go all day. Listen now. Listen. Because if you come to church and hear Pastor Butler preach, you sit like you did. You get home and you got the jokers on television. Okay. Do this. Call it. Oh, you don't have this one. But call Pastor. Oh, you don't have this one. Uh, we get all the same other folks. Yeah. Television. They come into town. I ain't going to see them. I want to pay them. There's nothing an unsaved preacher can tell me. And if I entertain him, I'll become a sinner. And the Bible tells me that. Perfect church. Right. And we're going to be perfect. Let's not perfect. Right. 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 Leave the world alone. Right. Right. I don't care what your mama taught you, yeah. what your daddy said, yeah. what big mama thought, yeah. right. what pop pop used to say. Yeah. If it's not consistent with the word of God, yeah. they were flat out wrong. Amen. Right. Well, my pastor, if your pastor did not rightly divide the word, then your pastor was wrong. Right. Uh, right. Right. I appreciate it, but I promise I'll be there. Yeah. I'm going to sing what the Lord tells me. Right. Right. We're too much in trouble in the church. Because right. we keep going before we get up the flame. Right. 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 Now, 
Now they done been monitoring the whole time. But I'm going my last five minutes. God said to Samuel, go anoint that boy. Thank you. 